So for um, number 19, we're taking the sequence here, um, a n is equal to 3 n over 1 plus 6 n, and it's asking us to calculate to four decimal places the first 10 terms of the sequence. So I've gone ahead here and I've put a little table um, where for n is equal to 1, I would plug in 3 times 1 over 1 plus 6 times um, 6 times 1, so that's 3 over 7, and then for n is equal to 2, on the top would be 3 times 2, divided by 1 plus 6 times 2, so that would be 13, and then so on until n is equal to 10, where I did 3 times 10, 30, divided by 1 plus 6 times 10, so 61. And then um, I put here the four decimal approximation. And then the next thing is, is it's asking us to graph this. So let's go ahead and put in a graph so here and that is going to be 0 0.1 here um, 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 and then up here 0 0.5 and then we're gonna have uh, 1 2 3 4 uh, 5 6 7 8 9 10. So on this axis we have our value of n, and over here we have the a n, um, the value when we plug in n. So let's plot that in. So for the first, um, for n is equal to 1, we have 0 0.42, so that is um, very close to 0 0.4. And then for number 2, we have 0 0.46, so that is above. For number 3, we have 0.47, so slightly higher. For number four, um, we have 0.48, so higher still. For five, we have 4.839, um, slightly higher. For six, 4.865, so these are so close to each other that it will be um, barely perceptible. Actually, this maybe should be a little lower, yeah. Um, for, that's for number six. For number seven, 0 0.4884, same thing. Um, for number eight as well, and actually it looks like it has gone over that line, it shouldn't have. For number nine, we have 0 0.49, so nearly almost at 0 0.5, so nearly here, and for number 10, also nearly there. So I had to draw smaller and smaller dots so that we could see um, where they were heading to. And so we can see that the limit is as we add ends, they're getting closer and closer to this value right here, right? 0 0.5. The closer, um, the more terms we go, so from 4 to 5, 5 to 6, and so on, the closer that our value gets to 0 0.5. And we can see this on the graph, um, that it tends to this line right here, right? The more that we add n terms, we can also see it from the table that these values are getting closer and closer to 0 0.5. So that is our guess, but now we have to prove it, right? So we're going to go the limit of 3n over 1 plus 6n as n approaches infinity. And to do this, we're going to divide everything by n. So this is the limit as n approaches infinity of 3 over 1 plus um, 3, that should be 1 over n plus 6. So all I did was I divided um, the top and the bottom by 1 over n, right? Maybe I should have put here 1 over n and then times uh, over... I should make this explicit, yeah. 1 over n. And the reason that we do this is so that we can... Um, we can look at the contributions of each part because we can see here that the limit of the top, well, it's just going to be 3. And then what about the bottom? Well, 1 over n, this is going to be the limit of, as n goes to infinity, of 1 over a really big number. Well, that's just going to go to 0, right? Because 1 divided by, say, a billion, that's going to be really, really close to 0. Plus, well, the limit of 6 is just 6. And so this is 3 over 6, which is 1 half. So as we suspected, um, the limit of this sequence here, as n gets larger, the value gets closer and closer to one half.